Okay, so I went and did it, look. I bought myself an Outkit brew kit and the old Coleman cylinder. That's uh, Halfords. The cylinders came from Halfords. Tesco's did them, but then they don't, and they don't know when they're going to do them again, so Halfords. Or Blacks, or Mountain Warehouse, wherever you want to go, Millets, that sort of thing. Um, you're all pretty familiar with these, so I won't go into too much detail about it, but the first thing I did was get rid of the thin, nasty, bright red handle covers, which were silicon, I think, and I put these nice, thick, covered ones on. These are lovely. These are actually uh, diesel return pipes <laughs> from a Land Rover engine. They're, um, you can't really see it, but they're actually fabric covered. You see, they're rubber, fabric covered, nice and thick, nice and padded, and they will give you a lot more protection than the Outkit um, original red handles would do. Plus, of course, they're not red. I can't stand that. Very horrible. Uh, this lid, I don't like plastic lids, so that will probably be going, and I will try to get some other lid that fits on there that's not so bloody garish. Ah, oh, why do they do it? Grey would have been fine. Black would have been fine. Why bright red? For God's sake. Anyway, so there we are. For those of you that always wondered whether I'd succumb, yes, I have. I've bought myself one of those. It was nice and cheap. 35 quid delivered. Okay, you don't get the canister with that, of course. You have to get those yourself. But 35 quid delivered. And, of course, now I'm going to make myself a little pot stand for it because, as you know, they come apart here. Can I do it one-handed? I bet I bloody can't. Uh, hang on. It all went dark for you, didn't it? Yes. Right, these things here, obviously, when it's like this, it's just like a little cooker. So I've got there's a little pot stand that you can get that goes in here. If not, I'll just make myself one. It's pretty simple stuff. They're already uh, enough space there between the burner and the lid. But of course, this bit here, being solid, doesn't let enough air through. So I should probably get a mesh screen, put it around there, sit the pots on top of that, and then this will act double duty as the dedicated cooker for that and also it can be used as a gas cooker for other things and of course being a screw on cylinder as you know you just unscrew these there's a hiss of gas and the cylinder comes off and Bob's your uncle it all splits up and goes inside the unit look at that you see oh I managed to do that one handed that was killing myself so there we are so this then all fits inside like I said you all know this stuff so why am I even telling you that goes in there Plonk. That goes in there. Plonk. Okay. Then that goes on top like that. Now, here's the thing for you. I was looking around on the old interweb, and sometimes when you put your uh, gas bottle in, see that that igniter there, the white post thing. Sometimes that can get crushed if you're not very very careful. So I have heard of some people trying to put these in up the other way. I tried that and I couldn't seem to make anything fit there, nothing really goes in. Um, it's like trying to put that in there, but nothing really fits. So I don't know how you're going to fix that problem. But, yes, you've got to watch out for that little white thing when you're packing it away. There is one little trick I've seen whereby you get, just like Blue Peter, you get a piece of a cardboard toilet tube, cut it off yay tall and put it around there, just sit it on so that when your gas... Uh, canister goes on there it doesn't crush the bloody thing see because like I said all of this you can feel it hitting it when you put it in so I'm hoping that dimple in the bottom can misses it nicely you see but anyway so there we are the out kit brew kit uh, I've got one so there we are you all know what they are oh that's it tip the bloody thing over Dave well done look like a fanny on telly there you go these handles much nicer nice fat handles so there we are thank you very much if you like them, they're 35 quid, delivered from just about everywhere, but I got this direct from Outkit. They are back in stock, and I've got a camouflage cosy cover for it uh, coming, hoping it's going to fit. It's for a jet boil, but these are a little bit bigger. So I'm hoping the camouflage cosy will at least fit, because it's pretty stretchy stuff. So we'll see. Because uh, I'm a freak, I can't help it, yeah. All right then, cheers guys. Bye now.